All right, boys, this is very big. This is very, very big. Oh, man. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. This is very big, boys. This is the Einscan HX. We're gonna do some crazy stuff with this. So let's install the software, get this thing set up, and get to work. Look at that scan, dude. Holy crap. Okay, so it definitely needs tracker. So I'm using the laser scanner. So this thing has two scanning modes. Rapid scanning, which I'm guessing uses the blue light and also laser scanning, which is what I'm using right now, which uses the trackers, which is why I placed so many. But dude, just look how fast and clean and just look, just breezing across the scan. I don't know if you can see the screen, but this is, this is mind blowing. I don't even have to look at the computer screen. I can just walk around and I know it's fuck. It's just, I know it's working. All right, so the plan now is to wrap around here, but I think first I'm gonna place a few more markers. So the reason I have my whole desktop out here in the garage is because the scanner requires a NVIDIA graphics card, which my laptop does not have, but my desktop does. Shining 3D Einscan, they were so generous to send me this for review. You know, I'm gonna make it work, whatever it takes. Why can't all scanners be like this? Look at this, dude. It's freaking perfect. Tomorrow, I'm tearing my whole interior apart, scanning the whole thing, and sending that instantly to Cage Kits. So this is pretty crazy. I brought the 3D scan, that's the green part, I brought it into Maya. And this is my 3D model that I scaled off of just the wheelbase. So I just looked up the wheelbase of an SC, and then I just measured you know, from point to point on the wheels. and. <laughs> It's, look at it, it just matches up almost perfectly. And here you can actually see how much wider my wide body is going to be, especially in the rear, it's like a six inches. All right, I'm all set up for scanning the engine bay now. So let's try that. This time I'm gonna be using the rapid scan function instead of the laser scan, because I don't want to place trackers everywhere in the engine bay. I'm gonna start with the engine and move away from it. Here we go. Look, you come back, wrap around this long piece of a scan, and it lines right up. Zero skew, zero problems, just lines exactly up how it should. Unbelievable, man. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, my computer's getting really laggy. I'm gonna stop it. I think I filled up the RAM there. All right, it is the next day, and I have the entire interior torn apart. You can see that. Dash, everything, seats. I'm gonna start scanning now. I talked to Cage Kits, and they told me to start from the center, move my way out around the eight pillars, all that stuff, so get the whole framing of it in, and then fill in the gaps. So let's try that. <music>
problem with the cheap scanners is like for large objects like this, you know, when you do a loop where it's just tracking a tiny like sliver of stuff, when you come back around to where you started, usually there's a overlap where the two pieces don't line up because along the way it skews a little bit like a small angle and that tiny angle you could have you know half a degree on one end will be a huge difference on the other end that's the nice thing about these large scanners is i don't know how but they are just able to track it perfectly somehow it's just all in the software i'm guessing well also the hardware this thing scans at twice the speed of my other scanner. So I'm gonna do this floor, and then I'm gonna try to do the whole shelf in the back, and then I'm gonna open the trunk and try to scan the trunk in together with this. Can't thank Einscan enough for sending this out to me. This is literally the last thing I needed for me to be able to do the large projects that I want to do because I was I just wasn't able to with the scanners that I had this thing is amazing I literally have no bad words for it and it's not because they sent it to me for free to use. I just, it, it just works. There's literally nothing, nothing wrong with it. It just, it just works. It tracks well, it, you see everything lines up. The detail's good. I'm only using medium detail because my computer can't handle it. I guess that's the only drawback is this thing needs an NVIDIA GPU. I can't use my laptop with it. That's why I drag my whole, you know, that's why I'm. If you're a professional that can expense this, Definitely, definitely get this. I want to be getting all my friends in here to scan all of their cars because this thing is badass. The scanning on the SC is now finished. I can now bring the models back into the software and I can start lining up my wide body with the real panels of the car. I think I have to do a little more scanning. I have to get the fender mounting positions. Actually, no, that doesn't matter because that's going to be done in the mold. So that doesn't really matter. All right, I don't know what else to say. I guess I'll do a summary later. And this is why I needed this scanner. You guys remember my 3D model of the wide body I designed, uh, did a live stream on? Well, here it is in real life now. So this is why I needed the scanner. I just needed to verify the scale and make sure everything lines up. If you follow me on TikTok, you'll have seen this already, but as you can see, it's almost done. And that's gonna be another video where I'm gonna be 3D printing this whole thing, mounting it on the car, and then doing all the body filling and everything to make this the new wide body for the SC. As you can see, it's very wide, so I'm gonna need some big ass spacers or some bigger wheels or something, or lower offset. Next video, I know I've been saying it over and over again, next video is gonna be the oil cooler, next video is gonna be the oil cooler. Okay, well next video is actually gonna be the oil cooler. This car is gonna be in the garage for the rest of the winter now because it's like 35 degrees. I went to a car meet last week. It was absolutely terrible. I was freezing my ass off. My feet were frozen. I almost got sick. It's gonna be it for the Nimbus for this year. It is now build season. So lots of upgrades and the wide body and other stuff coming. So make sure you subscribe. Also got a couple more announcements coming. It has something to do with wheels and it has something to do with seats. A lot of things happening here at the Ding Dong Domain. That's gonna be it for this video, Ding Dongs. I know it's not really car related, but kind of is. I'll be releasing the scans of the car for free so you guys can use them. You can make your own wide bodies, do whatever you want with the scans because, you know, I got the scanner for free. So I might as well just give you guys that. Still got to do the roof. So I'm going to 3D scan the roof so I can make a plug for it because I want to make a carbon roof skin. Thank you so much for watching, Ding Dongs. This is your captain signing out. Peace out. Do you have your passport?